Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is the scavenger hunt 2 and this is the first prompt which is a beverage and it's going to be from Fantasy Collection Volume 1 by Jade Summer and we are going to do this picture as you guys can see she's got a little cup of tea, hot chocolate, coffee tiny little espresso anything you can think of she's got a cup in hand so i'm thinking she's got a drink so today we're going to do just her and then the next one we should do the background oh let's see how far we actually get onto the picture this is a book i would like to complete this year but i am very far behind in this book but if you guys have the book and you want to do a body colour with me in this book just give me a DM on my Instagram or comment down below and I will definitely love to body colour with you in this book so we're going to start off with her skin I'm thinking of doing it a little darker than what I usually do but I don't want to do it like a dark skin tone I'm thinking a little test of this because I'm getting this bit. Test of this colour. I am using my own markers. I want like a little dark skin. Do you know what? I'm just going to go for it. We're using 107 sand, and this is the new Elite markers. I've got all them out. So how is everybody today? I'm fine. My throat's getting a little bit better now guys. I've just been really down with a bad cold because the weather has just been awful. Not too long ago before I was just about to film. I had heavy rain and thunder and I was like, nope, not recording in this weather. It's just awful. But I guess and that's just because the weather's just going colder because the season's going colder. I still can't believe it's the end of the October already. Like, where is the year going? I've been doing a few whips. I was going to do a spooky picture today, but I thought, nah, we'll just do this one. Because I really want to do this picture anyway. I've been wanting to do this picture for ages. Just whenever I look at her, I'm always like, nah, I'm not doing that. Because it's too pretty to colour in. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I want to complete this book as well. I'm going to have to do it one day. If you hear any noise in the background, that's just my turtle. He likes to make a little bit of a noise in the background. So if my voice goes in and out this video, it's just because my voice is like getting a bit better. But last week I just couldn't talk at all. I'm so happy I did them flip throughs the week beforehand because I literally couldn't speak. So this video shouldn't be that long. I really want to try and make this as pretty as I can, but as you guys know, I don't pick colours up. But I can see what colours to do here. I've seen the colours that I want to do for her for probably the length of time that I've had this book, which is probably 2019. 
I just never really colored her in. It's just because she's so pretty. There's another one in here that I really want to colour in as well, but I'm just too scared to ruin them. I'll show you guys in a second when I've done a hand. It's this way. I'm going to have a little look through the um, pages for you guys. It is another fairy one. There it is. This page. And I just love her hair and that, but I don't know what to do with the background and stuff like that. I just I know what to do with the hair, but I don't know what to do with the background. It was the same thing with this one. Like, I knew what to do with hair, knew what to do with the cushion and that, but I didn't know what to do with the background. But, we'll just wing it. If it looks a mess, it looks a mess. With this type of book, this one, the volume 1-1 one, one, of Fantasy Collection, they have thinner line art than Fantasy Collection volume 2, which I have nearly completed. I'm so close to completing, but all the pictures that are left are the ones I don't really want to do, so it's like, ugh, whenever I look at it now. But I am definitely going to do it because I want to get that book complete. If I get one of these massive books complete, like the 100 pages ones complete, I'm definitely going to be proper happy with myself. Yeah, I coloured over her eyebrows because her eyebrows are like so fun to colour in. I'm going to colour her hair in. I'm thinking like brown, like a brunette colour. So let's see what this one is. Just swatching on the side, guys. Thin paper. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what I want to do. So we're going to use 91 Natural Oak for her hair. Even if you have these books in grayscale, I'd still love to do a body colour with you guys. And it makes me more focused on completing the book. I've got two body colours going along in um, Magical Jungle by Joanna Basford and World of Wonder by Joanna Basford. And they're by two lovely ladies from one of the Facebook group pages that I follow. I haven't even started them to be honest guys, I've just been really really ill to get out of bed to do any colouring but my hairline looks awful but oh well. Oh well. I'm just following the lines to be honest guys. I absolutely love this page so much. I've seen some beautiful images from this page. I think that's part of her hair, but now it is now. As you guys can tell, it's really, really intricate. I'm not really bothered about whining, to be honest, like streaking. I was like listening about you in my last call and chat of a person was like a brunette hair. 
I had a stick to like brunette ones or blonde. I really need to go out to the comfort zone a little bit. Because this is fancy and you can do whatever colour hair you want or whatever skin colour you want. But I just stick to like everyday like hair colours and that. Like natural hair. Yeah. No, like that is one of my um what are they called? I call them challenges, but they're not challenges, what is it called? Like a plan next month, I think. I might actually put that down as like a thing to do, like colour a different skin tone or something. That would be quite fun actually. I've got a couple of whips going on and books that I didn't even want starting on whips, even though I've got so many to do. Oh well. I've been very indecisive this month. I like what to colour in. I'm like, oh, we'll colour that in. Oh, we'll colour that in. And that was a questionable, but we ignore that. <laughs> Her eyes are going to be a little bit darker brown, which is going to be 99 bronze. You probably won't even notice it because her eyes are so tiny. So we're going to do, I'm going to call this like a nicey, like a silky nicey we're going to call it. So it's going to be in like, I want to say peacock green. I'm just going to check the colour. Yeah, peacock green, 61 peacock green. Looks like one of them silky ones that you get. Just looks like she's like loving her life. A nice cup steak. Reading a magazine. making like a little list of like challenges for myself or like next month and that I'm gonna try and set myself like 10 challenges a month really push myself out my comfort zone a little bit but if you guys have like any challenges you would like me to like try and do like every month just comment down below and I'll like Place it down and try it. So that's all I all I ever want to do is just improve. To be honest, guys, that's all I ever want to do. Um, I'm thinking about the headpiece. Should that be the same color as that? Yeah, I'm gonna do the headpiece the same color because that would be like a silky material on my head. that um i want to say throw it looks like one of them throws or like a poncho or something i might do it in this color yes i'm gonna do it in 65 ice blue i'm gonna leave that like white for a second and do it like a goldy color Or I might actually do in this colour actually. Now that I'm looking at it right together. Actually looks quite nice. So what is everyone been crafting, colouring, doing? Love to know, let me know in the comments. I've just been recovering. Doing a bit of colour buying on there, stuff like that. I've got a couple of whips on the side of me. 
I've been doing. I've been working from 70 plus characters by Jennifer Rowland and I have been covering from Colour by Number, Pets and Farm Animals. It's more like a child's one but it's one in the evening I'm not well so like just mindless colouring. What I've been doing as well is sorting out all my pens and pencils and see what I really want to keep in the art stuff and stuff like that and to be honest guys I had more than what I thought of. If you guys didn't know, I have a monthly colour along and it's Sophie's spook, Spooky Colour Along or something like that. It's in the description down below if you want to go and check it out. I want to thank everyone who has already participated or is thinking about participating as well. And I want to welcome all my new subscribers. And if you are new and you just clicked on this video and you're thinking, who's this crazy girl on, on the screen? Well, this is a adult colouring channel and this is for like people with depression and anxiety and it's just a nice relaxing place to be. We do flip throughs, colour alongs and just have a ball and a laugh. Nice and relaxing colouring chats to be honest guys. I don't really like do anything else other than colouring chats and flip throughs at the moment. But I am planning on things in the future. I do finish a whip with me series which is when I've got a picture I have started on. And I want to finish it on camera with you guys. I just take out the book, turn on the camera, and just finish it up with you guys. I haven't done mine in a while because I, I haven't really been in the mood to finish a whip on camera. I mainly want to do these type of um, pictures with you guys. I'm going to make these sparkle. I've got these type of slippers on right now. <laughs> one of these blue ones. It's like nice fluffy black ones. And I got given as a present a couple of years ago for Christmas. And they are literally the comfiest slippers you can ever wear. And it's really good for this weather because it's absolutely freezing. And this room that I do my artwork in is like really, really cold. So wearing these really does warm the feet up and warm the whole body up. If you made it this far into the video, comment down below, fluffy slippers. That'd be such a random thing. As you guys know, I like doing my keywords in the middle of my videos. So I know who actually watches them. I can do it in two minutes into the video, I can do it near the end of the video, I can do it whenever in the video. One thing I don't like about it, these type of books as well is it's not grayscale. I like grayscale due to my books now. 
I do like my favourite things to colour out of. And the newer books that they've been going out with, with a lot of like, where they give them the artist's credit. It's like been semi grayscale and I've been loving the look of them, but because I've got these books, I want to complete these ones before getting new ones. I don't know if anyone else is the same as me, like, but that's what I want to try and do. Hmm, should I do the wings the same colour or should I do them a little bit different? We're going to do the wings in peacock green, the peacock green one. We're going to do the wings and then we'll do... Now we'll do the outlining and the bubbles, like the circles of the wings in this colour and then go around the edges with the light one. Yeah. I'm going to start with the light one first so I can go over in the darker one. If I will. I'm just going to go all over and I'm going to go over with the darks. I think this will be the first fairy in this book that hasn't got glitter wings. I feel like putting glitter on this page to be honest. I'll say that and then the next video I'll put all glitter and just sparkle the rest. I know I have a chisel tip on this pen but I don't like using them because for me personally, I don't feel like I have control. So I go outside the lines a lot and these lines are quite thin, so. And like I said, I don't really mind having lines. Like streaking. I'm so glad you guys like this type of video where it's like a scavenger hunt and I absolutely can't thank Danny Buttons for the idea of the series because she's the one with the prompts and the list. So I can't thank her enough. And of course, if she hasn't made like a new video on like number five or whatever, I'll just um, carry on the series by making my own. It's going to be a bit difficult, but we'll do it. Because we enjoy it, don't we, guys? And it gets us also of our comfort zone a lot. That's why I like these type of scavenger hunts. I can't believe we've already done the first part. And if you guys are new and you're wondering, like, what you're on about by Scavenger Hunt, I've got a playlist of called Scavenger Hunt on my um, YouTube. And it's the very first video of saying Scavenger Hunt 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it explains why I picked certain pictures and stuff like that. So it's giving you like a little sneak peek of what I'm going to colour in. I was going to colour them off camera, but I like the idea of colouring them on camera with you guys. Feels like we're doing it together. I could have made it a little Halloween, you know. I just realised that. I only think of this when I've actually done the picture. It's okay. And of course on the next video I'll show you, if if we finish the background, I'll show you um, what we're going to colour in next and stuff like that. And if you look in the description below and you want to join in, all the ticked, ticked off boxes 
are the ones that we've done. And if you'd like to join in, you can join in whenever you want to. You can start from the beginning if you want to. Just join in. It's so much fun, you know, guys. It really, really is. And you don't really need a huge collection. You can just find a picture with the certain thing. Like, you can find a picture with a cup of tea in it or a beverage or something, like a drink or something, and colour in with me if you want. Or you can find the same picture as me and colour in different colours if you want. You can colour the same colour. You do whatever you want to do, guys. So that I've gone really quiet guys. Just like finishing off the wings. I usually make the wings really sparkly but because obviously the wings and stuff like that but didn't want to do it today. So I'm going to go, if you guys can see now, I've got the circles and the outside is going to be in peacock green because it is a bit darker. And I've got the steadiest hand so this will be fun. When I really concentrate, I don't know about you guys, but when you really concentrate, your hand just starts shaking like this. <laughs> and you're like, stop shaking. I don't know about you guys, but that, that's what happens to me when I really concentrate. Or like, I just don't want to mess up. It always ends up like, you know what, I'm going to mess up on you. So you don't have to do what I'm doing here with this one. You can literally just colour over it and call it a day if you really want to. But I like the circles, I don't know why. I think this is meant to be all sparkly, to be honest, guys, but I just like doing the circles. This picture's literally coming out how I actually imagined it. Which I'm really, really proud of. Because as you guys know, I never see colour on a page. Like, I never, like, go, oh yeah, she's going to be brunette with, like, green clothes on. I never do that. It was debated between brunette with pink clothes or brunette with peach clothes or brunette with, um, this tealy green colours and I thought I haven't done this combination in a while so thought I might as well just do it I don't even know what colour to do this part, yeah. I might do like yellows and golds. 
because yellow and gold and teal really go well together for some strange reason. To be honest guys though, if you really think about it, any colour goes well with any colour. I just love putting colour to the page. One of my friends went to me, why do you love colouring so much? Because literally that's what I ever do. Whenever whenever I've got like spare time, when I'm off the phone or when I'm just like in my room on my own, I just colour in permanently. And they're like, how are you just colouring in all the time? And I went, I just love the colour from like black and white to colour. It's like, and then I look back and go, I actually coloured that in. Like sometimes I just look at pages and be like, I never coloured that in. There's this one page in, uh, what book is it? There's a book that I've got and there's a page that I'm looking at all the time and I always go, I never coloured that in. Because it's so beautifully done. Don't know what I'm going to do. Hmm. Sorry about the tails, guys. They're really loud. So. Um, I'm thinking. Hmm, let's do. I'm going to do this in terracotta yeah because then I'll do the background like cream I'm just thinking if I buy any cream because I did get rid of quite a few colours so I should have a cream somewhere it should be somewhere I've got loads of common stuff yeah, we'll colour in the table and then I think we'll call it a video after the table and then we'll do the background and the chair next time. Because I don't know what colour to do that yet. I think I might do a yellow actually. If we've got a little bit of time, I might actually start it in this video and then finish it off next video. I was thinking about doing this grey, but I thought, no, I'm going to do it like wooden, because she's in a tree, so, and it has a texture of like wood, so, I mean, you can have like bark trees that are like grey, like way like grey, aren't they? So, I don't know. As I told you guys, the line's very thin, so it's very hard for me to like go around the little nooks and crannies with all card markers because all card marker and I was on paper fans out and like leaves over the line sometimes if you're not careful. And 
if you really wanted to, you could actually shade in where the lines are. But I am not one of them people to shade or blend or anything like that because I'm just one of them to put paper on. Colour on paper. Not paper on paper. <laughs> I'm just like a weird line now. So that is how far we got today. Uh, yeah, so this is how far we got today. Next video we're going to do the chair and hopefully the rest of the background. It shouldn't take that long. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and follow my Facebook group page on the description down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.